meeting of Ohio King Physical Court to order. Uh, it's October the 13th, uh, 2020 at 5 o'clock. Uh, would you all ride with me? I'm going to ask Jenna Boaz, our guest, to lead us in a prayer and place the flag. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the beautiful weather that we are having. Please watch over the community here in Ohio County with all of the COVID. Please give the, uh, the officials here with the fiscal court the strength, the knowledge, and the wisdom to do what's right for the community. Forgive us of our sins. Thank you. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, liberty, justice for all. Thank you. Uh, before you, you have the minutes of the September 22nd meeting. I uh, need a motion to approve. So moved. A motion by Sam Small. Second. Second by Larry King. Uh, is there any discussions, corrections, or additions? Discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. That motion carried. Uh, next, we have the bill claim for payments and transfers. Uh, I would uh, like a uh, motion for that. So moved. Motion by Larry Camp. No late this, right? No late this, right? No. Okay. Have a second? Second. <laughs> second to Sam Small. Uh, uh, any, any discussion? Discussion on bills, claims, payments, and transfers? Any discussion? Roll call this, Miranda. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Count? Yes. Uh, some kind of motion I'll, I will make it uh, that has to do with bills, claims, payments, and transfers. We need to move a little money for cash flow. Uh, the cash flow, the motion will read the mo to authorize the county treasurer to transfer up to $30,000, not to exceed 30000 from the general fund emergency reserves and to the emergency services fund, not to go past 11, 10, 2020. I made the motion, can I get a second? Second. Second by Jason Bull. Now where's the money going again, Judge? Uh, it, it's this cash flow issue. It's coming from uh, reserve, the right, gen sir. general fund reserve into the emergency services fund. We didn't start collecting that quarter of a percent until this October, because that first quarter had to pass, and we're just now collecting it. For first year. Okay. Well, any any further discussion? Being none. All favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. Miranda, I'll have you a copy of this so you can use the same verbiage in the minutes as if I read this read. Uh, before you, you have the September 2020 Treasurer's Financial Report. We need to recognize that we've got it. I make a motion. We acknowledge. Motion by Sam Smith. Second. Second by Joe Barnes. Uh, is there any discussions or questions? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Uh, the Clerk's Report. Did you, any of you see that? Uh, anyhow, it, it too, it's just something that best give us. We need to acknowledge we got it. So moved. Motion by our cam. To acknowledge. Yeah, motion by our cam to acknowledge. Make a second. Second with Joe Barnes. Is there any uh, uh, questions? The clerk, uh, did not hear, but we could get an answer. Could you get her uh, just email us a copy of that? Yeah. Do you have a copy? It, it, yeah, and it's on the, uh, I mean, I can go print another one. Sorry, yeah. yeah, I'm seeing it on there. Just need a physical copy? Yeah. Okay. I'll take care of that. 
No, you didn't wait till after. Just okay. love saying it once. Thank you, Mark. Okay, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like saying. Um, I want to uh, introduce to you Jenna Boaz from the grad. Uh, and she's going to talk to us a little bit about the uh, COVID-19 revolving loan fund for small businesses. Uh, anywhere you want. These guys are hard here, though. You have to speak loud. Basically, <laughs> just over here. He's almost okay. over me. Well, thank you for uh, allowing me to be here this evening. I did leave you all some uh, flyers and a brochure there in front of your desk. And I've got some others if anyone is wanting that. And as the, uh, the judge said, I'm going to go ask from the grad office. And you've probably seen me before in my role as a transportation planner. Well, I've kind of moved on now to uh, a little bit more of the economic development side of that and working with the revolving loan funds that we have at grad. And back in September, uh, grad received uh, $3.3 million of economic development uh, CARES Act funds to assist our local small businesses and startup businesses uh, that were impacted by the COVID-19. You know, we realize that there is you know, tremendous uh, things that have happened trying to deal with this, and so we're trying to see what we can do to assist the businesses. So the grad board approved back in September that we were gonna use our funds through a revolving loan program to offer loans between $5,000 and $250,000 to both new and existing businesses and industry for retention and expansion projects. Uh, with that, in light of all of the COVID, the impact of two small businesses, the EDA has allowed us to issue these loans with some certain flexibilities. We are able to offer 0% interest for the first 12 months, reduce collateral and equity, Normally, we are a gap financing with a bank or other funding sources such as your OCEDA funds. Uh, this we can do a project 100% as long as it's you not know, over the 250. And we're also waiving our application fee. We're able to use these funds for purchase of machinery, equipment, working capital, uh, land, building, you know, if it results in uh, retention or expansion of jobs. Since it is economic development funds, we have to have the jobs related or to Or new that. jobs, right? Yes, yeah. yes, sorry. Um, and uh, so we uh, have had some, quite a bit of interest so far. We're just now kind of getting out and doing uh, the marketing of it. We're I'm attending the fiscal court meetings, some city council meetings, meeting with economic development officials and chamber officials in all of our seven counties. All of our counties are eligible for this. And we've got some, uh, so this little flyer here that if anyone is interested in having one or putting these anywhere, we'd appreciate it. They can call me at the grad office. Our uh, application is on the grad webpage or Jody's office, yes, at Oceda. Uh, the application is on the grad web page and it is a fillable application so you can fill it out but then email it to me and um, it's a um, it's sort of a streamlined with a little bit of that um, what our normal um, application process would be we still also have our traditional funds for anything that's not COVID related we're also taking uh, projects for that too so if anyone has any questions I'll Try to help, try to answer. I don't have a question, but I do appreciate everything we're doing to uh, try to rebuild the economy. And I want to thank you for that, for your part. Well, you're quite welcome. Uh, yeah, I appreciate that's good news. And uh, uh, I hope that, that from here we'll, we'll get the word out to more people. And uh, Dustin's here, so he, he'll get, he'll let people know through okay. his media. So and it's, it's really on the grad web page. They can go there and get my information, and this all this information is on there too. And we have put it on the uh, the website ohiocountyky.com, and also on all of our social media for economic development. Yes, and Jody's been very helpful with me 
meeting with some uh, people, local people here that are interested in it. We've done that just a couple weeks ago. So we're hoping that we'll see some, you know, things come out of that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, next, we have the emergency management solid waste guy here. Got something to talk to us about. Thank you, Judge. Guys, uh, I know times are hard and we're trying to save money. But I got word, we usually buy a truck in February or March of next year. That's when we're scheduled to. But with all this up, when I talk to the Moors and some other places, the trucks are going up between six and seven thousand dollars at the first of the year. Uh, just try to save the county some money. If we go ahead and buy them early, we can get a truck and save about six or seven thousand dollars. It's y'all's pleasure. And the rental, what we make on the truck, just to let it out every time we're out, we make on the truck twenty one ten an hour. So every time Larry, Sam, or Joe calls me back going look for garbage or this or that. It's getting documented and we're making that kind of money back on it. So uh, we can easily pay for one in correct. a little over a year. Correct. How much do we have it? How much is the truck going to cost? Do we have an idea? Are we just going to, you have the ballpark? You know, I'm saying around 35. Because uh, that's what the one, 35, 850 is what the last one cost? Correct. And okay. I'm saying right around that figure. <laughs> Plus or minus a few hundred thousand. No, I'm joking. What what does a a fifteen hundred four wheel drive run? Probably what's the price, what's the price difference on probably about twenty eight. So there are about seven thousand dollars. So few, there like is that. a few thousand dollars difference. Yeah. yeah. And the gas mileage, what's the difference in gas mileage? Uh the mile truck which Judge, judge drive one, both drive one. I think they're about 16 to 17. Uh, the truck I'm driving now, if I'm pulling, well, it don't matter if I'm pulling, it's about 13 to 15. So there is a few miles difference, gas mileage. The last truck we bought, we had um, about $30,000. We it was out there about $5,000 of the truck. Something like that. And also, I got word this week that through Kentucky Emergency Management, this Special projects are open back up, so we will be filing for that. Can't promise we're going to get it or not get it because we did luck into that a few years and get them for the truck. We got it at half price. Normally, you usually have a bid. Are you going to get a bid? We, we'll have to. It's going to be over the $30,000. Are you already have a bid? No. We'll have to ask. Yeah, that's I'm here to tonight to ask for bid. I think what we want to do is authorize him to take bids, and then you still will have to vote on for acceptance. Do we need to bid for the fifteen and the 2500 I think I would, so we know. Go ahead and bid them both. Let's bid them both. both. That's what I would like to do. Okay. I was looking to see how much money we have. We almost have enough money to pay for 1500 You know, we just And that's y'all's pleasure. I mean, we got more coming in, I'd say. But, but. I don't think there'll be that big of a price difference. In the well, let's just see. Let's get them both. $2,500. And I'll give Miranda tomorrow and we'll do the bid. We'll send the bids in to the yeah, board. Last one we, we priced it with the, just a couple hundred dollars difference in between the half ton and the three quarter ton. And if there's not, then yeah. Yeah. Uh, by the way, that one we wrote in that day, Joe, that's perfect now. It had the this car came out the stock tires that came on that had gone 53,000 miles, uh, and they were uh, all terrain tires, and we put um, put uh, street tires I, I, on. I, I drive it like a new one. Yeah, I thought it was probably time to do put some tires. They on. was. It was really howling. So well, them tires get wore wore out. Your ride suffers. Yeah. I'll thank. You. I'll put the with me. I say me and Moreno get put the bids in. It'll be ready for next. For we get that in for next court meeting. Okay. Sounds right. good. You, we don't need that in the I, I don't think so. As long as we're sort of in agreement here. Do we need to advertise for bid or? Yes. Yeah. That's all right. Well, I'll make I'll make a motion. We advertise for. Okay. Let's uh, do that. Both half ton and three quarter ton uh, truck and specs can be picked up from Charlie. Okay. I'll take care Second. of that. Yeah, well, I'll take care of all of Second that. One. Second to Larry Camp. Motion with by Joe Barnes. Second by Larry Cam to run the advertisement for both sides of trucks. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed uh, like sign. Motion carries. Personnel, I need those, Miranda. We have two. We have two uh, hires tonight. 
uh, under this uh, fund from uh, from the CARES Act, from the uh, farm from the <coughs> CARES Act, uh, so that we can uh, hire these people to help play, we're going to get paid back for it. So uh, it is because we cannot work inmates from the jail. Uh, we have one, we have a uh, John Cabaco started at 8.68 an hour, effective 10.27. Uh, and uh, this will be until uh, this uh, is lifted and they let inmates work again. Uh, the effective date is supposed to be changed to the 13th. 10 what? 10.13. Okay, that's today. Okay. Yeah, on the other one too. Okay, I'll do that. So, uh, just a roll call. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Count? Yes. Uh, the other one, same amount of money, same term, named Philip Whitaker. Uh, what, Whitaker, what's his first name? Philip. Philip, okay. Uh, roll call. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Count? Yes. So, Bo, you call them and tell them to get on in. And of course, go through personnel. Uh, I have two extension board appointments. Uh, the uh, first one is uh, Alton Doc Crow. This is a reappointment. And I guess we do the, these separate just as well. So, Miranda. Yes. Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Count? Yes. And the other is Patsy Eddins, and that's as well as a reappointment. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Count? Yes. Okay, now I'm going to give you the COVID-19 report. And it's been a bad week. In the month of October, this month, the amount of COVID-19 uh, deaths in the grad area had doubled. In a 13-day period, it's as much as it was in all those months before on death row. <coughs> okay, our number of active cases of the day is 93. Of course, it's much higher than it's ever been. It's going up, up, up. We're not having any relief as far as it going down. Is that in the grad or Ohio County? That's Ohio County. 93 was Ohio County. <laughs> I have a question on that. Can I? Yes. How, when do they get off the active list? Do they have to be retested or is there a certain amount of time? No, uh, in uh, 14 days. So they automatically go off the list in 14 days. Okay. Yeah. Most time everybody is retested, but I asked that. Yeah. Okay. And they watch the calendar, not necessarily the retesting thing. But to get off of it quicker, you've got to have two tests within a 24 hour period that's negative. I mean, that's at least 24 hours apart that's negative to get off of it sooner than that. Um, i tell you, this is scary times. You're talking about the deaths have doubled. Uh, and I personally know several people that have died with it. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it, it's scary. Uh, I had a, uh, report from a doctor yesterday. He's an eye doctor, but still a doctor. Uh, and it's also a U.S. Senator. Uh, he said the way viruses work, they should weaken because a virus doesn't uh, need to kill the host of the virus because then it doesn't have any place to live if it kills you. It wants to spread on to other people. So with that said, nationwide and even statewide the death rate from this is going down but not here in grad in grad we went up in our death rate but overall the death rate's going down and that's really the only good news i've got to give um, and but the bad news too is in the death number of deaths we've had what is that number exactly on in ohio county in ohio county there's been nine 
there's been a total of uh, 65 in the grad area. And that's a total of nine in Ohio County? Yes. And then 65 in grad? Yes. Uh, and of the ones in, uh, in, of the nine, I know at least five of them. So, I mean, this thing's real. It's not just some abstract number. Yep. Uh, and even though older people like Larry Cannon and myself are more susceptible to it, there's younger people dying from it too. It's not just, it's not just all of us. So I very, very much urge you. We do not know everything we need to do to get this thing in check. We don't know where we'd be doing it, but we do know that wearing these masks and washing our hands and keeping our distance from people, we know that helps. That's not foolproof, but we know it helps. So we need to do what we know to do. So I urge you guys here and those that are hearing us by other media to please wear that mask. Uh, and some of us even, it improved our looks. I've been told several times it did mine. So, uh, Mr. Cam got it, but he laughed. But uh, anyway, uh, I just tried to put a little bit of levity in this thing, which is nothing funny about. Uh, the COVID-19 virus is real. Uh, I do want to thank again the governor's office for their leadership. Uh, they're making a big announcement in the morning to all the judge executives at, at uh, eight o'clock in the morning our time. I'll be here on the on Zoom listening to him. And uh, I would not be surprised if we don't have some further restrictions. But uh, we'll know we'll know then because of the increase of cases and the increased death rate. Uh, our county, as of today, went on the red zone. In other words, that means, hey, that's your place, don't go if you're traveling, don't go to Ohio County, Kentucky, because they're in the red zone. Uh, so, you know, that, that's not good for us at all. Like I said, 93 active cases in our population is a lot. We've had a total of 549 since it begun, began. I won't go on and on about it, but just please do what we know to do uh, so we won't be getting into further and further restrictions. And uh, I will go on uh, Facebook Live tomorrow after I talk to the governor to bring up to date on if there are any new uh, restrictions. And uh, I will not be surprised. But I will say uh, the governor's office is, is providing good leadership in this. And he's also been really good to our counties with uh, uh, supporting us, helping us with the CARES Act money, which pays for added expenses we've had due to COVID. Um, but th that's where we are at there. Appreciate your uh, attention there. I'm going on the committee reports. Uh, the first one, I'm going to ask Larry Cam from on the uh, uh, Transportation Committee, a road, road committee we call it, to tell us what we've decided on the uh, tractor purchase we tabled last meeting until we got further information. Yeah, just three weeks ago we opened uh, the bids on the uh, uh, mowing tractor and after some discussion by the court it was agreed that uh, there were two that uh, took the lead in it but there were some questions about the warranty and such and uh, I think with your uh, your assistance, members of the court, Nick's uh, our road foreman, Nick Willens, uh, looking into it, they come to the conclusion that uh, John Deere was our best uh, uh, best tractor for the money. So, if uh, with, without any further ado, I'll entertain a motion uh, that we buy the tractor from uh, Wright Implement at a cost of uh, $51,838.12. I'll make a motion. Second. 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 Second.
Was that the lowest bid? You know? It was. Was that the lowest bid? I can't remember. It was about four or five thousand dollars. Okay. No, we just know. Do we do we know the the reasons? I think you said. Yeah, he, he stated warranty and features on the track. Okay, features on the track. Okay. Yeah, the warranty was the main thing. Yeah. Was the main thing and, and if Nick was here, he'd tell you what those features were. But he went, that, he went and physically examined both tractors. Yeah. Okay. And reported. He's got to put it on the river. I'll make the motion. Okay. Motion to have a second. 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 Jason Bowen. Yeah. You didn't need to get this back to you. Uh. Yeah. I guess we are handing it back. Hand it back to Miranda. Okay. Roll call, Miranda. Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barr? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Cam? Yes. Uh, next committee I want to report is Jason Bullock on the uh, Suicide Prevention Committee. Well, uh, we had our first suicide uh, prevention annual walk, I guess awareness walk. Let me just get it right. Mental health. Let me get it out. Hang on. Let me start all over again. Suicide mental health awareness walk the, the mouthful there it was um, the first one we threw together with this committee with a lot of help a lot of people worked on it really hard some of them are here uh, Ashley Davis is one of them that really did a lot of work but we thought if we had a hundred it might be pretty good but I, I called and got the numbers from her we had 319 people that had signed in plus volunteers that day so it was uh, it was a real nice event and uh, the weather was great a lot of people seemed excited about it uh, we feel like this is going to be an annual thing. Um, not only did we get that, we weren't selling anything. It was a free because it's more of an awareness thing. People just wanted to donate to the committee. We we had close to a thousand dollars in donations, thousand uh, ninety one dollars. It wasn't close. It was over. But um, we just appreciate everybody's uh, interest in it and the help and everybody was there. And uh, we're going to continue putting stuff on our Facebook page. Let people know there is help out there that. Uh, you're not alone, and uh, hopefully continue to do this in an annual event and maybe some other things. We're still talking at our next meeting what we want to do with the funding we've got. You know, we talked about scholarships for families that maybe have lost, you know, their kid, family that lost loved ones to suicide or issues like that. But uh, we haven't got that far yet. But we haven't actually scheduled our next meeting, have we? Is it next next Tuesday? We didn't really put a date on it yet. We we're kind of waiting to see. So we have. I don't either. We didn't. I don't think we scheduled a date, but it, the, the the first annual walk was a, was a, I thought it was a success. For the first, you know, we had about a month we put it together, and 319 plus volunteers and all the people that were there, the donations received, uh, it was a success. So continue to liking our our page. We'll have more information about events. Uh, there'll be more information about help. You know, if you're looking for someone to talk to. Uh, so, um, I will have to admit, this is probably of all the committees I've done, it's one of the more rewarding or uh, it's kind of nice to do something other than, uh, you know, trucks or farm equipment or road equipment or mm -hmm. insurance or it's, it, you know, I enjoyed this committee. So, uh, yeah. it's growing. Like I said, we have more and more people interested in it all the time. So, uh, I'll keep you updated as we go on. Okay. Okay. Um, did, did you all get your reports on how the Mack truck's done? They've done pretty darn good. Yeah. No, I, I did. Yeah. It was did I mailed it to you. Yeah, she I, think I got it somewhere, too. Yeah, I carried a copy around. Yeah, right. I can see you found yours where I did not. But that's just a report that we did pretty darn good. Well, I was looking at that, Judge. Uh, if you don't care uh, to address the old seat of board. Yes, I was fixing to call on you that now, for that now. Uh, uh, Sam Small delivered to me today. These are members to replace people that have gone off of the old CETA board, and these are people that uh, uh, they brought to them and they're replacing it. They're not additions. And, uh, and I'm just going to give them all to your attention at one time. But uh, this is recommendation from the board delivered to me by Sam, who's the fiscal court's uh, representative. And they are Seth Southern, Tara Ward, Andy Miller, which I saw here earlier, uh, Laura Sandifer, and David Johnson, not many, but the guy without the T in his name that's got the real sharp Mustang car right there. 
Kid, do we need Sam for the record? Maybe the job, well, Jody, as far as that, I know their terms, you know how we had some staggering terms. Have you all decided on the staggering terms? They're rewriting the bylaws right now. Do what? The bylaws are okay. re being rewritten right so now. We'll so we'll I think right now term. we're just holding everything until. I just didn't know if you wanted it on the record. Not well, yet. I think now that you're established there, but I'll be for the same amount of time now. Because so, the first board was staggered. Uh, I tell you what, uh, rather than let's do these all at once, let's just so you all acknowledge that we got it. Uh, just give us a thumbs up vote. Roll call. Uh, Miranda? Sam? Yeah. Jason? Yes. Joe? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Yeah. These were to acknowledge these names? Yes. Okay, we have that. Now let's see. Oh, other committee reports. Other committees. Have any other committees to weigh in here? Uh, I will say, uh, Justin, it's real good so far in this meeting. We haven't had to holler at you every five minutes like we have a lot of times mm -hmm. in the last several days with different things going on. Uh, other committees. Being now, we're ready to pull the master. Sam Smile. Uh, just want to remind everybody today's the first day to vote in person. Uh, I voted. I see the judge voted. Uh, don't forget to vote. Uh, as many times as they'll let you. Uh, actually, we tested that today. I'll say this, I voted outside at the courthouse. And uh, Bess walked me inside and she said, go ahead and try to vote again. And uh, I did. I took my license and I walked up and I tried to vote again. And it had already saved my vote and would not let me enter again. So, yeah, little check just, uh, you know, to check on things. Thank you, Judge. Yeah, they caught me my fourth time. No. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry about that. J Jason? No, you know, I just, Larry's gone today. I, court members and people oh, yes. just, uh, he, uh, his wife, not doing real well right now. She's been sick under weather. We just want to keep them in our thoughts and prayers and Larry and Rita. So, uh, yeah. and also I do think there was a good turnout. It seems like I've seen a lot of people that have gone out and, and voted the first day for yes, yes it was a good that's sign. a good sign good sign um joe no i have nothing thank you don't have anything to just no thanks just uh, if, if no one else has anything to bring for the good of the body uh we will declare this meeting adjourned see you back in two weeks